I love squash casserole. My favorite casserole of all time is a squash casserole. And when made with tender, sweet, fresh summer squash, it doesn't get any better. When you're picking out your squash, the best kind are the ones that are on the smaller side. They're gonna be more tender, they're gonna have a sweeter flavor, and less seeds. So choose ones this size. Another southern addition is some sweet Vidalia onion or any kind of sweet onion. That paired with the squash, I'm telling y'all, perfect bite, it melts in your mouth. And the great thing about this recipe, it is available at allrecipes.com. It has over 2,000 five-star ratings. What can go wrong? We're gonna start by steaming our onion and squash in a skillet until it's tender. We're just doing this with a little bit of water. You don't need to saute it with oil or anything. The purpose of this step is to go ahead and get a lot of that moisture out. You can't just toss raw squash into a casserole or it's gonna leach out all its water later into your casserole dish and it'll be super watery. The natural sugars come out in here, caramelizing them a little bit. We didn't even have to saute. We're good here. Now we're going to drain this really well. We don't wanna add any extra moisture because we don't want our casserole to be watery. Now for my second favorite ingredient next to the squash in the casserole are these little good crackers. My grandmother used to even spread butter on top of these for a snack. So we're gonna start by making our binder by putting in about 15, 20 crackers. These are gonna act like breadcrumbs would in another type of casserole, but these have more flavor and you're already using them for the topping, so why not double up? Now we're gonna stir in some cheese, eggs, milk, and then add our squash in. This is so easy that you won't believe how good it tastes. And notice this casserole is not made with cream of anything. Okay, it's just all real ingredients that you have in your fridge. Final step is to stir in some melted butter, salt and pepper. I know you're thinking it might not look the most attractive right now, but just wait, I promise it's worth it. Now we're gonna make my favorite part, which is the topping. And this is just more crushed up crackers with more cheese and some dotted butter on the top. Just like grandma used to make in the oven for about half an hour. Crunchy, cheesy on the top, and it's gonna be soft and gooey and comforting in the middle. It's the perfect side dish to a good southern supper, or I really love to enjoy it as a veggie plate. You know, it's kinda like it's healthy, but it, it's not really healthy. I mean, just look at the squash, so bright yellow and tender, you can almost just taste the sweetness by looking at it. Perfect bite. Mm. I love squash casserole. It's delicious, it's very easy to make, and it's so comforting. You have to give squash casserole a try. When it comes to making my favorite casserole, you can cook that. Do something funny. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> Can't be funny on command. Just funny naturally.